Most of us know that it's nearly impossible to keep plants in our African cichlid tanks. And I say nearly impossible only because there are some lucky dogs out there that are able to do it successfully, but many of us cannot, including myself. Now you could go get yourself some fake plants like I got in here, but you lose out on the benefits of having real plants. So the next best thing is to get real plants that don't need to be in the tank. And how are we gonna do that? Pato carry. Ready? Let's go. May you find some good use out of my little gadgets, Matt. Let's go. Any goodies in here? Pato carry the lux. These are the Pato carry Versa, Pato carry Duos. These are cool. They come with a little cover to close them off. Perfect for what I need to put the patos in here. These are probably good for some bamboo. These are the two piece lily holders. Check them out, nice and thick. Thank you, Matt, for all of these wonderful choices, but today we're going with the regular old pato carry for some patos. So you look at this thing and it's pretty obvious, right? You hang this doohickey on the back of your tank, you put your plants inside these holes with the roots hanging down below into the water and your leaves are sticking out above the top. That's how you get the benefit of plants removing nitrates from your water without the plants actually being inside your tank. So I like to use pathos because pathos grows very well, it grows very rapidly, it doesn't require a whole bunch of light, and pathos is excellent at absorbing the nitrates in your tank water. And even if you don't have African cichlids, but you like the aesthetic look of healthy, vibrant looking plants, growing above your tank, you can use this method as well, no matter what type of fish you have. Maybe you just don't like plants growing inside your tank water. This is the method for you then. Grow it above your tank. This is the Pato's plant that I scooped up over at my local Home Depot. Doesn't cost that much, probably around 20 bucks. All I'm doing here, guys, is looking for a nice stem with a nice couple of leaves on it. I'm not a plant guy, I'm not a gardener or anything, so there's no method to my madness. I'm just picking and choosing something like this that looks pretty good. Here's a one piece, one leaf on one stem. I could still use that. When I find a good stem with a couple of good looking leaves on it, I just cut it as close to the soil as possible so I get more stem than leaf. That way they can easily go into the pothole's carry. But something with a couple of branches on one stem with a couple of leaves, that's what you're looking for. But don't get me wrong, you can always go with the one leaf on one stem. That's going to work just fine, just like this one. Now it's time to install the pato carry to the back of our tank. It goes on so quick, so easy, so simple. Look how fast I just put it on. And it's got nice wiggle room. But I just realized this is the wrong one. This is for bamboo. But look, it's so easy, I put it right back on again. So this is the one that you want with the bigger holes because you can put your face plate right over the top, slide it in and then it'll hold your pathos in place inside these holes. You do not need to force it. It should just go in. Doesn't need a lot of pressure, there you go. It should just sit on the back rim of your tank. So you can see it can move freely side to side, but it's not going anywhere either. It's held right there. Take your plants that you got, nice long stems. If you cut them, if you found a good one, you got a nice long stem, stick it right into the hole. As far down as it goes, the leaves will keep it upright and it will not fall through and your roots are going to grow in the tank water. And I got my little one, little onesie right here by himself, he'll go in the other corner. See, and he just sits right there at the top of the hole and he'll eventually grow out of there. Move my glass top out of the way so I got clearance in the back. Put the bottom piece in first, then kind of rotate it backwards, click, you're in. See, you got that movement, but it's not going anywhere. Easy peasy. If you wanted to add more, you absolutely could. I'm just doing this for now. I changed my mind. I'm gonna add some more.
So when you get done, it's normal for it to look like this. It's not gonna look all that pretty just because your leaves and stems were bent all out of shape, all out of whack. But as long as your stems are submerged underwater, the roots will grow. And eventually you'll get a beautiful growing pothos plant above your tank just like this one. Now I know this isn't a super long video, but those of you that stuck around to the end, makes you super cool, so I got something for you. First, I know a bunch of you notice all my equipment behind my backgrounds. I get that question all the time, so check out this video right there. It's gonna go into detail as to why I do it that way. For those of you that want your own Pato Carry, you're gonna get hooked up. Use code CAVEMAN at patocarry.com for 15% off any Pato Carry that you want. Tell them that the Caveman sent you, but first, Give a thumbs up to the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace.